Oh, uh, all right. So how often? Because Maryland is a place that I have some real family. To, like my whole family's from Maryland. I never oh, been shit. to Maryland, Damn. but like my grandma's from Laurel. Uh, I got family in Ocean City. I got family in Annapolis. Damn, dog. I got family all over Maryland. That's crazy. It is. I've never been. You gotta go. I know. I need to go. I, 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 now, now that I live on the side of the country, I need to go. But now, like, how often do you go back to Maryland, and what can you? Every place kind of has its, um, you know, like its 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 unique cultural, you know. I don't I don't want to say you know the shit. I that, get exactly what you're saying. Uh, what's something I, about Maryland that you know makes Maryland what it is? You know, it's really funny. It's very multicultural. There's it, it almost in a way it's like besides those ugly ass uh, Under Armour jerseys at the church. <laughs> it's very. I don't know, man. It's like I, I think the only thing that Maryland's really known for is like crabs, and I don't mean that in a second. Great way. crabs. Yeah, I mean actual. I've crabs. heard about the crabs. Yeah, uh, which is fucking retarded. But anyway, besides that, it's just so multi multicultural. You know, you have a a, a lot of Hispanics and and, and, and blacks and, and whites, and you know everybody's kind of mixed up in the pot. Uh, a majority of the Hispanic uh, community is from El Salvador. A lot of them. Dope. Um, it's cool, man. I mean, it's dope. Shout but, out to MS13. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it's it's it's. I mean, I love where I'm from. But I, I usually only make it about once a year, or maybe twice a year. I usually go back when I when I tour. Okay. Uh, because you know now my life is with my team, and my team is in LA, and and that's where I'm. At. I mean, is there something to be said with? with I mean, something I always say, man, is like uh, everyone always is like blood is thicker than anything. But like to me, loyalty. Makes yeah, family. totally. Yeah, one hundred percent. I come from a really fucked up family. Right, right, right. And you know the people on this tour bus, they're my family for sure. And um, you know the family that I grew up with, I love them. Uh, we're cool. Everything is straight. You know what I mean? But I was never. It's really weird. My whole like growing up situation was really different because I was like only child between my mom and my dad, and then I grew up with just my mom for a while. But then all my family was there. Like all, like from my. The, brothers just from our mom's side lived with us for a while then i lived with my dad for right. a while yeah. and then you know so it was all it was really weird you know at, like kind of being raised in a black household because you're around all these people but then also being by myself for many years with just my mom so it was it's was, it was definitely really crazy yeah if y'all if y'all go check out his interview with rosenberg man he really breaks down his family situation real tough show sure. yeah. it's super dope um shit i just had something else to bring up but oh okay look before we end that interview yeah, yeah. i think the last time we spoke I want to say you talked about your top five favorite albums of all time. Yeah. Something something like that. You, since you are a No ID guy, mm -hmm. can we talk about uh, your top five underrated MCs of all time and and yeah. your top five producers of all time? Okay, here we go. Now, these are personal. No, this is, yeah, this is personal. Off the break, number one. Underrated. Underrated MC of all time. Shout out my homie Nick Huff at Hard Knock TV. Black Thought. Okay. From the roots, dog. Do that. All fucking day. That's a fucking... That's that, you, you're 100% correct. Oh, man. Core Mega. Core Mega. From New York City. He's, he's another one. He's super dope. The Realness. Such a great album. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. I'm trying to think. Sean man. Price is really good. There's a lot. I would say of, Sean Price. There's a lot of there's a lot of cats from digging in the crates. Which oh, DITC. Oh, yeah. come on. Thick. Dog. Thick. Oh, Woo. he's amazing, dog. Dog. I mean, no, oh, that Great song. Record, yeah, that yeah, song? Record. Yeah, Fucking, yeah. what's his name? That one dude. He's like Hispanic. I forget uh, his name. There's, there's, Ag. Is it Ag? There's Lord Finesse and Ag and he Dit. Was, like back in the. Back there's in the Big L. There's Fat Joe. There's, listen. And so, yeah, it's been a while. Everyone in the comments, feel free to shit on us for yeah, not please. knowing all the fucking members of Digging in the Grace. Guess how I get. Uh, da, 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 da. It's such a great record. Yeah, yeah, that's my shit. Uh, well, it's super underrated. Uh, I mean, yo, Black Thought really is the epitome. Though. Yeah, Black Thought's number one. I agree it's just ridiculous. You. I don't understand. And it's funny because he's like underrated, but he's so winning. He's on national fucking television every night. With and, the roots. If, and if I'm being like honestly, I think I think Tech Nine gets a lot of. Oh yeah, but I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily say that he's underrated. I agree. Because everybody knows Tech Nine. Everybody, everybody knows who he is. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. And he's got fans, and he's got this. I think he's just not necessarily on the fucking like the the like the pop Were like, you, uh, where everybody knows who he is. Did you ever listen to like the late Master A shit? Disposable oh, yeah, arts. Dog. Yeah, Master A's for sure. Long hot summer. Uh, uh -huh. you ever listen to Afura? Oh, come on, yeah, man. Exactly. Afura was like I forget, he did a joint. 
that's the that's the I, I remember seeing him in LA. He opened up for Dilated Peoples at their expansion team album release party, and he was on some karate shit. I think he did a song with Jizza. Slug. Slug. Shout out to Slug. For atmosphere. Shout out to Slug all day. But I wouldn't even necessarily say that he's also underrated. You know what is funny? There's like this weird thing in hip hop. There's like where you're like underground or you're like really known or you're this or that. But I almost don't even necessarily see Atmosphere and Slug as underground because Everybody knows who they are. It's I mean, just they, a certain... they throw their festival every year. It's yeah, dude, and everybody goes. I think it's just, it's kind of like a... I mean, in that vein, Brother Lee's very underrated. Or yeah. Brother Ali's very underrated. Oh, yeah, Brother Ali, for sure, man. The Black Thought, I, I, I fuck, the Black Thought statement cannot be said enough. I, I'm still wait. I hope someone leaks the Black Thought solo album that was supposed to come out. Also, I have a I have a record with Slug. Nobody knows that. Really? Yeah, now you know it. It's not out yet. It's not out yet, but it's coming out. Uh, yeah. I just thought I would tell you that. Now, is that an, a Logic record or is that an Atmosphere record? It's a Logic record. Touche. It's pretty crazy. Is that on the album or not? Nah. Or not. Okay. Or not. But it's like, it's going to be amazing. Wow. How did that come it. How did that come up? Like, how you did know you... how that happened, dog? I just gave you a jam right now, right? Yes, you did. I need um, to know. How did the slug... Because yeah. that's... It feels... It feels kind of unexpected. It Definitely. Feels not... You know, you know what's crazy? I was with uh, Nick Huff, so shout out to him from Hard Knock. Yeah, yeah, And uh, I had this record that I wrote that was inspired by Atmosphere and Slug, and I, like, wrote it, and it, it's, like, kind of like a little shout out in it, whatever, and he was like, yo, I, you know, I know him. Like, he's a really good dude, whatever. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, well, maybe he could, because I didn't know him, so I wasn't trying to be like, yo, give me a verse. Like, I was like, well, maybe... He could like speak at the end and say some like really prolific some ass shit. Some flash shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So I was like, ask him if he wants to do that. And then so um, he hit him and Slug hit him back, uh, hit us back, and was like, I don't want to talk on it, but I'll rap on it. And I was like, all right, that's Perfect. even better. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I just wasn't trying to overstep my bounds, you know. And so um, yeah, no, he did it, and he sent back this in fucking amazing verse. It was like so incredible and just so, it just just what we were trying to you know get across in the uh, on that record, and we got it. And, uh, and then I, I you know I, I got his contact, and we hopped on the that's phone. That's dope, man. Yeah, had a great conversation. He's an amazing fucking person. With that being said. Merce underrated M MC of all time. Were you Merce, ever into the felt? Yeah. Were you ever into the felt albums with with him and Slug? You know what's funny, dog? Is I I like I know Merce, but I never really went through the discography. Listen, that's one. Thing I'm gonna tell I'm you what you gotta listen to with Merce. Mm. You gotta listen to the two felt out. Uh, there's three felt albums mm. now, but the first two felt albums, him and Slug did 100% joint two albums together. We're fucking insane. Um, Slug has so much music. Then you have to fuck with. Everything Merce did with fucking Ninth Wonder. Okay. Merce 360. Shout out to Ninth. That's the homie right there. Yo. Fonte, underrated rapper of wait, all wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. Fonte. About to say something. Dilla. Dilla. Because a lot of people, when they think Don't, Dilla, they, they think just produ think, production. Exactly. This is true. This is true. Dog, his albums are insane, dog. This, this, you are, they're amazing. This is fucking some real, love real shit being talked to. This is, this is incredible. And you know what's so funny? Like, all my fans are gonna just fucking watch this. Okay, okay. We're, we're not, we won't do the top five producers, but give me like the one producer you think that is not fucking. Me. We're not talking about the Timberlands and the Dre's and the Primos, but give me like that one dude who you think um, doesn't get mentioned enough that is like next level. For me, I don't want to say six. Six. Okay, that's his man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For me, it's always no ID, but you can't say no ID because that's yeah. your man. But I always am like no ID. And also, when it comes to no ID, you know the crazy fucking thing about that? What other producer? Do you know from the 80s and early 90s who was known for that that are making records fucking platinum records with Rihanna and Jay Sean. and all the yeah, it's it's incredible when I think about that. Now anyway, that's real. Um, the longevity so to be said. what producer what? I'm saying like what's the one producer in your eyes that like maybe is a little oh, underrated that that is is an all-time great. For me, I would say no ID. Yeah. Um, I think that's always my default. You know, He'd like, be in the cut though. He I does that shit on purpose. I know. I, I, I yo, definitely, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, 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 it's funny because I met Rob. You know, Rob probably, probably engineered a lot of your fucking. Oh stuff. yeah, Rob. <laughs> um, Rob's the man. I was backstage at uh, at Rock the Bells, and I was just chopping it up with Rob, and we were like, he's like, oh, you know this right? And we were back. He's like, yo, yeah. I'm gonna take you on a No ID's bus and introduce you to No ID. Yeah. I was like, thank you, but there's just so many producers that like. That uh, I just I, I mean production is such a weird. I think it's almost like Brian Kidd. Have y'all ever heard of Brian Kidd? I haven't heard of Brian Kidd. Okay, let's put it this way, bro. Put me Brian on. Kidd is the fucking man. Brian Kidd is like you know he's like work with Timbaland and shit like that. Like Brian Kidd's fucking sounds, his shit is amazing. He did uh, what's the fucking joint? 
Um, just something that you guys would know. Uh, fuck. I need that. This, this shit for J. Cole. Oh, um. I need that. I'll the first album. Shit. How am I forgetting? I fucking love Go. Here, not not power trip. Uh, this is funny because like the fans are like they know what it is already. And put like, it in the this? comments. You fucking idiots. You're fucking. It's this. Idiot. No way. I know this shit. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I need that. Oh man. He's like, yeah, but the nigga with the bomb with the bit. Yeah. What okay. the fuck is it? Yo, I'm gonna be pissed off right now. We'll see it in the this. comments on YouTube. Yeah, let me text him. Stunt! No, I'm just kidding. Oh! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, he just did that! Okay, <laughs> no, okay, since the last time we talked, we talked about porn stars. Have you ran into any porn stars since your, your never, fame has gotten on another level? I've never met a porn star, but I like What the it. fuck? Yeah, I know. What are you doing in life? You I, live in LA. You're, I, uh, a, you're a sim. Whoa, wait, wait. Actually, that's a fucking lie. I forget her name, but my homie was like. She ain't that type thing. He, no, she's dope. She was telling me about her. And he was like, yo, check out this porn star. And I was like, oh, cool, whatever. And then we go to the fucking, this restaurant, and she, like, walked right by. Well, listen, really what you need to do is... But I don't want to, I don't want a porn star bitch. I want, like, a good, beautiful ass You don't woman. want a porn star, but you just want to... Crank? I'm straight. I can't be fucking no hoes, man. You don't know what these bitches got. This guy's a gentleman. I would like to say, at the very least... <laughs> I don't know, man. Go I love how I'm like, you can't be fucking these hoes. You don't know what these bitches got. And he's like, he's a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He's speaking for the for the ladies, all right? <laughs> it's okay to prefer to porn stars in this, in this. No, I was gonna say. Oh, can't get enough, J Cole. Can't get enough. Turn up. Okay. <laughs> well, Trey Songs, great record. Yes. Uh, Who's also a homie? Shout out. Listen, to um, you gotta do, go Childish Gambino, Bob route. Bob's got Skin Diamond in his video. Childish Gambino had a Bella Anderson. A Bella Anderson. In yes. the Three thousand five lyric video. Childish Gambino. For something, you have to cast a porn star. Okay. And who would it be? Uh, it'd be Amia Miley, even though she's Oh, retired. yes. She's retired. She's my friend on Facebook. She's yeah. married. God bless you, Amia. Amia Miley. I want to lick your abs. Scripture. I want to lick your abs and everything else, but your abs is a shit, yo. But shout out to my dude, Logic. Uh, album before the uh, end of the year? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. Yeah. So be on the lookout for the album. There's no EP coming out. Uh, he's got a song coming with Slug. Um, I like video games. He loves video games. I just got off the stage. That's why I look fucking crazy. Fuck Xbox One. Yeah, fuck Xbox. There it is. Go PS4. buy a PS4. 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 Cut the check. All yes, right. please. <laughs> you already know, man. Bootlegcat.com. Shout out to Logic. Rap hack. Go looking out, man. Turn up. That was a good interview. Think so? Yeah, it was cool. It was more like shooting the shit. You know what I mean?